More magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera than expected. A research team whose members are affiliated with several institutions in the US and one in Australia reports evidence that there is more magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera than previously thought. In their paper published in the journal Science, the group describes an analysis of years of seismic data from the site and built a supercomputer model. Carrie Cooper of the University of California Davis has published a perspective article about the work the team is doing in this new effort and also outlines the tools geologists use to predict when a volcano will erupt. The Yellowstone caldera is located in Wyoming's Yellowstone National Park, and previous research suggests a large eruption the last occurred about 640,000 years ago. Previous research also suggests that there are two large magma reservoirs beneath the caldera, one just below the surface, the other several kilometers below. The ratio of molten rock to crystals in the upper reservoir is a reliable indicator of how close the volcano is to erupting. Previous estimates suggest the rock to crystal ratio in the upper reservoir is about 9%, indicating that the volcano is far from the point of eruption. However, in this new effort, Researchers have taken a closer look at the ratio and found that it is much higher than previously thought. To learn more about reservoir ratios. The researchers analyzed 20 years of seismic data for the area with a supercomputer, which then created a model that simulated the reservoir, showing the size of the reservoir and the ratio of rock to crystal. They found that the ratio of rock to crystal was much higher than previously thought. They found that the ratio was 16% to 20%. They also found that the reservoir is about twice as large as previously estimated, namely about 1,600 cubic kilometers. They note that their findings do not indicate that an eruption is imminent. The ratio is still well below the threshold believed to be needed to trigger an explosion.